Yeah, oh, good for me, but I'm like it. Yeah, I just smoke this weed and I like it. Yeah, I'm about to make this money, so excited. Yeah, better cuff your bitch if you like it. Yeah, this money make a cup and I like it. Yeah, you don't know about it, you should try it. About to make this money, so excited. Yeah, switching on your mans, I don't like it. This is Butter with Mystery Girl Radio. Find Mystery Girl. All right. What's up? This is Mystery Girl. You're tuned in to Shut Up and Listen. I'm here with DJ Enigma and Butter. Yo. And uh, those last three songs you just heard were Butter. Sure. And uh, they were off his n- latest project. Same, shh, different day. I can't say it, but y'all get the gist. <laughs> you just say SSDD. SSDD. Yeah. Okay, that works. <laughs> you know what? See, you thought you covered all the bases Bang. You, you covered all the bases so we have butter here thank you for coming through thank you for having me and you know what i was kind of last minute with it too and, but y'all stay ready we, so you gotta be like, ready even when you're not ready stay ready i like that I also Yo, right so we got the breed in the other room Shout out my guys. we got the yeah so we're gonna bring them in in a little bit but i want to you know spend some time with you first butter yes. yeah so first first off where are you from from new haven connecticut okay new Born haven connecticut so the 203 baby yeah. yo 203 we holla we yes, out here sir. all right so I, I had to know so we got ct in the building mm-hmm. and uh we got the 203 in the building definitely so Let's talk about SSDD first, because okay. um, we were just playing, you know, those tracks. Tell me about the project. I got through most of it, um, but how many tracks are on the project? It's about sixteen. Okay. Like I was gonna say, it's a, it's a pretty it's a pretty uh, in depth project, yeah, definitely. Um, which I like. So yeah, tell me about the content on there. What the message is, you know, what you're talking about on the project. Well, it's just basically like giving. Giving you like a story basically for like six years of me doing music and okay. like what I've been through throughout my whole life. So it's like giving you a mixture of both, but all mixed into one. So it's like a fusion like type. Right. So like I call it like a hybrid type thing. So with that, and um, I talk about my dad a lot. I lost my dad when I was three years old. So okay. um, I don't know if you guys realize I have the three in my name, Butter. And, yes, um, I was going to ask you about that yeah, actually. So, um, yeah. With that, my father passed away when I was three years old and um. My mother gave me that name when I was three years old because I was light skinned and I had fat cheeks. So she, uh. used to call me, <laughs> she used to just call me like Nutter Butter. And then when I got older, yeah. like the older people just dropped the Nutter and just I've just been butter ever since. And and then with that, I'm the third oldest out of my brothers and sisters. My birthday's in March. So it's like that number just. So that's where Yeah, the three so it's just like, in. yeah. So oh, it's just, I like that. Yeah, like to this day, like a lot of people I knew for years don't even know my real name. So. See, I know what you. Nobody knows Mystery Girl's real name either. So, so there you go. See, okay. you got, he's mysterious like I yep. am. Guys. <laughs> gotta keep you it, got, you gotta, gotta keep it going. Yeah, you gotta be the brand. Exactly. You gotta live, be, and embody the brand. So, so shout out to my that. mom for giving me that name. Yo, right? shout out to moms. That's like that makes it even that more special though, because when you pop and when that name's everywhere and you blow up, you, moms is always props. gonna be like, yup. Yeah, like yeah, I gave you your birth name and I gave you your second name, like your second birth name, your exactly. rebirth name. Like, <laughs> so she gave you yeah. two, so she two for two. Yeah, that's lit. I <laughs> so really I mean, love like, that. So basically, with that, it's just like it's just letting you know, like how I go about my everyday life, and then letting you know, like it's just a lot of people that I really can't trust because of the things that I've been through, right. the things that I witnessed, um, personal experiences, mm-hmm. and just basically just just having a focus on just. One is, one is to support my family and supporting the people that's been around me since day one and all my loved ones, the people I care about, and just wanting to be a boss and just really, yeah. like, do things the right way out here because it's, like, a lot of stuff not being done right. Yeah. And I just really want to just, like, uplift everything. You know, I listened to most of the project, and I heard all of that. Thank you. And um, you did get, you know, very personal, and you had some skits in there. Got my grandmother on the yeah. album, too. Yeah, and I was, yeah. was going to ask you, you know, are, are those real family members? Yeah. And that's, that's dope um, that you can include... Like your life, it's you, your soul into a project. You yeah, can really so. hear it, and you can tell that it's genuine. I'm glad that you guys got yeah, actually like, yeah. Feel so it no, I really, definitely. I really enjoyed it. And then you know, you got the you got the turn up songs, yeah, definitely for sure, which you always need. Gotta have those. But um, then you got you know you got those songs that are speaking to who you are in your life and your personal experiences 
which I think the best music comes from people who share that Definitely. with people, um, just that rawness. And that's another reason, too, why I do it, too, because it's like a lot of people out here that's scared to express themselves. Right. So, you like, there's certain things that you have to say for people right. so they can listen through you and then feel like they're mm-hmm. saying it. So, it's like, it's like a relief in some, right. some kind of way, no matter what. So, it's yeah. like... I that's definitely dope. don't just. I feel do like it. that's a, the what a true artist is is when they're trying to help people, yeah, and like make music that people can relate to exactly. mm-hmm. instead of just they trying to get this clout yeah. out here. Yeah, like, like you want to get the bag, but you right? want it's not, people. You want to reach wrong people. With that. You want to talk to people. That, you want to connect me, true to people. Musicians, yeah. Want to have some substance. Want to yeah. mean exactly. something. Like. And and I hear that. I hear that. So, um, like I said, I hear the turnip songs, but I definitely hear that. Thank so, yeah, you know, I'm with it. I'm Appreciate with it. Yo, that. guys, get that now. Is it Yo, on all that. streaming it's platforms? It's on all streams. On, it's on Spotify. It's on iTunes, Tidal, SoundCloud, Google, See, Amazon. It's everywhere. Out here. All the bases yeah, covered. Just type in Butter with a 3. None of that just like SoundCloud you know, nonsense. Y'all need Smooth to step like your butter. game up. It's easy. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Smooth like everywhere. butter, baby. Uh, he got it that. everywhere, so y'all got no excuses. No excuses. <laughs> <laughs> so have you have you always been like that? Has it been like about the music, or was it like that, like when did you realize this was a serious thing for you, or was it like did you break in trying to just do f- for fun kind of thing? So um, so my team is the breed that you got. You guys do know that, and yeah. um, um, I don't know if you guys know YA and Snacks. Those are um two of the producers out of the breed that right. I've known for, like, basically my whole life. So I've been an a athlete my whole life. Word. Okay. Like, I, I played basketball, football, and baseball my whole life. And then with that, they always done music, like, in church, out out of church. And and it's like I've always been around in the studio some way, somehow. Right. And I've always been in, like, in the area. And I always just say to myself, like, I'm here for a reason. Like, I can't. It's like I, I you just keep falling I get into I get it. like I get like pissed off when I feel like I'm just in a spot for and I'm wasting my time. So I was like, right. I feel like I'm here for a reason. So I'm not gonna force the issue, but luckily enough, um, Y had hit me one day and was just like, "Yo, you ready?" And I'm just like, <laughs> "Like, what you talking about?" Like, <laughs> so like, shit. He picked me up and then um, we went over to Snacks Crib. They had a mic set up in the crib and then um, we did a reference track and then. At the time, I didn't even know what the reference was. Right. So it was just like, just mumbling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he was just like, you, you got to find the words to go to this. So so it was like, you basically going to be writing it. And then, so after that, it just, I, that happened about six, seven years ago. And I haven't looked back since. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's So you've known since. them since like childhood? I knew Snacks since I was five years old. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. So y'all yeah, like. Yeah, I knew man. YA since I was about like 16, 17. Okay. He was my, my drum instructor. Oh, yeah, right. I used to play drums at the dance school, and they just they saw it in you. And they it knew just, they knew it was it there. It was a blessing in so disguise. You do, you do have musical background, like and I, I've always like could catch a beat or a cadence, like with yeah. the timing of my. I could just I could just remember something. Nice. Like my thing was just a lot of beats. Like it was yeah. never with the writing or never making music. It was just always if I hear a beat, I could play it back in my head, or like I could smack the couch and. Like it, I, it was just something that like was just second nature to me, and then I was just like basically like, like it didn't. That's not happening to me for no reason. Like, right. so well, I was just, sick to watch it evolve too. Like look yeah. back and see how it started and then it evolved to where it is now. Yeah, yeah. and it's like, and then I like I, I listened to some of my old stuff, and then I listened to some of the stuff now, and it's like, yo, this really is <laughs> like this is crazy, <laughs> bro. It's crazy. Yo, like, that's, it is crazy listening to your old. Do you do you cringe when you listen to your old stuff, or are you are you just like? You look at it more in a way of like you're proud of the progress you've you made. You know what? I I um I get kind of I get excited because now that I'm I'm so like deep into the music mentally, I I I, I can understand the old music more now. Yeah. Right. So it's like I get excited. So yeah. it's not like I I don't get upset or cringe. I I get more excited and I actually get motivated because. I'm like, yo, I, I went there. Yeah, I'm like, that's a dope. Way I gotta step it up because I was on, <laughs> I was on some shit back then. So I'm like, <laughs> and I didn't even know. But at the, t- but like, when you speak it from the heart and unconsciously, it's like, it you just pours out. Yeah, you just, yeah. you can't pay for that. So do you just got like songs banked up, just ready to go, like all day, every day. Like you got 
five albums just, just, like just, a, <laughs> just chilling like, on the side. Like souvenirs. Just I, I just have a feeling he does. Like, I know, you I ever know been to a basketball did. game and a little mascot come out and shoot the gun in the crowd? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's ready, yo. Yeah, he's ready, he's man. Ready. I like it. I want to um, give me one of those. The key, basically, like, <laughs> side I just love just, just having patience. Yeah. And, um, just, patience is key. Just to be patience blessed with key. patience because uh, it's not easy to come by. You can't just have patience. No, it's not. Like, it's, it's, no. You got to practice that. Yeah. So it doesn't come easy. Yeah. Well. So I'm, I'm, <laughs> we're lucky. I'm really, really fortunate to definitely have patience. So patience yeah. is very key because you, you know, you have all these songs. I'm sure you want to release, and it's like a timing thing. Yeah. It's de- and you, timing is everything. Timing like, is so Like it's so cliche important. to say, but it's no, really, really it's everything. So like, so important. So when are you gonna release your next project? Is it too soon for me to ask that question? Like, n- uh, I mean, usually... see. I'm a type of guy, like, <laughs> like for real, for real, with me, you never know. Okay. So, like, mysterious girl, mystery, mystery, girl, mystery girl, like, yeah. I might drop some shit tomorrow. Oh, like, like, I uh, might just. I we don't a mystery a mystery just, drop. I'm it's with a, that. It's a vibe thing. Yeah. It's a vibe thing. You gotta it, feel it. Yeah. It's, it's one of those yeah. things. Like it's a. It's a vibe thing. All right. That's what it so is. So did you think when you were doing the sports? Did you was that what you wanted to do originally? Like, did you want to? be a pro athlete and then the music kind of took you off that um path or were you just kind of honestly to me i did the sports because i i felt i was really really good at it and when i do something i i gotta i feel like i gotta be the best at it yeah and it, it doesn't it doesn't have to be on the level of being in the nba or being in the nfl or whatever the case may be but at that time or during that time period I got to be like if I'm doing it I can't, I can't half ass it. Right. right. So when I when I did the sports and um thank God my grandmother, my legal guardian at the time, got me into all the sports and all that. So right. I I took those so serious to the point where it was like I'm getting hurt all the time and then I'm like I'm going to the doctors, I'm breaking bones. It's like then I started to actually start to make music. Then I'm going to my games and I'm listening to my own music <laughs> while I'm while I'm going to the game. So it's like now it's That's like lit. now now I'm balancing time in between making music and trying to s- stay fit for my games. And it's like so with that, I was just like, I gotta pick one. Was yeah. there like a defining moment where you like sitting there so, like one day after like either a big win or a big loss or an injury or something? You're like, or did you just make a fire track with your boys and you're like, man, I just, I can't. Now, honestly, um, I played semi-pro for two years and um, we won a championship back to back. Nice. And the funding for the, the year after that, we played arena football for like about four games and then we went back to the regular season. Right. And then the funding had something with that had messed up or whatever the case may be. So I didn't want to go play for another team. Right. And then I did ended up going to try to play for another team and... They were calling me up, come over there, come over there, and then it oh, just, it just like, wasn't they what, was on what you. They wanted it wasn't you. the dream they sold me on yeah, the phone. Yeah, so yeah. I just, I just was like, you know what? Maybe this is just God just telling me like exactly. in a different way without yeah. me forcing it. Like right. so, I just, I just took it like that. But what I can't tell you is I'm in the gym every day. I was gonna say I do you not, know I you. do not play around <laughs> with that gym. So. Yeah. Yeah, the fitness and the athleticism ain't going nowhere. I was going to ask you if you're still, yeah, you know, definitely. up and moving. Yeah, I, don't, I, know, I you don't know, play around with that. Athletes get antsy when they're not yeah, doing stuff. Definitely. So, uh, let me ask you this. Sports and music, mm-hmm. um, the relationship there, how those things work together. What are your thoughts? I feel like the way they, they work together is because um, nothing happens overnight, right. as we both know. And um, as you do something more and more every day, in sports you can see the progress mm-hmm. like physically right. and um if you just apply that mentally because we all know like nobody is going to go to the nba right away but nobody's going to have the next hottest album right away if you, right. so it's just like you just got to really you really really got to focus and you got to know you, you you personally have to know like that you're going to get there you can't you can't really just like as a team like like as a sports you have a year where you're the underdogs. Right. And I feel like I had that year. Right. And I, like, I feel, I'm still having that year. And you don't become the champions until you build pieces to, to put around you. Right. So, I love that. So, like, when I first, first started, it was just, it wasn't, we didn't have a whole, 
establishment. It wasn't a, we had the breed, but it wasn't like the breed. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It wasn't like, yeah. oh, the breed is here. Like, you know what I'm saying? I so mean, Steve Jobs started after, in the After years go by, you get a, you get a piece, and then they, you get another piece, and then you get another piece, and then, then it's like, oh, we, we're working towards a championship. Yeah. You see so, it all, the bigger yeah, picture so, coming together. Yeah, you, so you definitely, yeah. you got to work together as a team in sports, and you have to work together as a team in music because you can't do nothing by yourself. Yeah. Like couldn't set it better myself, honestly. Yeah, so that's how that's how I compare it. What's it like working with the breed and just working with your peoples every day? Like Yo, those are even your people. Though, you grew up with those, them. Like, what's even that though like? my dogs like from from back in the day, like I'm so proud of them. Like I, I'm so proud of them because Aww. they they really took this like by storm and really like like grabbed it by the horns and they they never looked back. So and especially snacks too. I went to high school with snacks. All right. Middle school with snacks. That's and what I mean. It has to be so dope. You know, sometimes so people like, link up later on in so life. So now like so just walking in the room and just seeing platinum plaques on the wall and like right. from like That's relevant crazy. artists like Chris Brown and Trey Songz. Yes. And it's like, like they just released a record today with Chris Brown and T Grizzly. Shout out to my team again. I know. Yeah. We, yeah, we, yeah so we're gonna play that. It's like. I don't it's know. Crazy. I, it, I just get shocked sometimes to even feel blessed to even know that I'm working yeah. with them. So you got a like, solid team. You yeah. guys are a solid team, and that's really important too. Having so that like, that team. So. Definitely love it though. It's All a right, blessing. Nice. So, and we're gonna bring the breed in here in a little bit, mm-hmm. but um, I don't, you know, I don't want to leave anything out with butter. <laughs> so, is is there anything, um, in particular that that you want people to know about you, or what you got going on, um, in your story? Um, I'm a very, very hard worker and mm-hmm. I don't like to pe- see people slack because it's other people out here that would love to have your opportunity. Right. And that can't even get a chance to even have that opportunity. Yeah. So it's like when you have the opportunity, make the best of it and just don't take, don't take it for granted because it could be know. gone tomorrow. Right. Let they could be gone know. tomorrow. So like, that's that's basically Ooh. gems, baby <laughs> gems. So, uh, where do you mostly do shows and stuff in Connecticut, so people can? So this is my debut project. So, um, <gasps> oh, yeah. So I didn't need. So yeah. So wow. this year you're going to see me a lot. Um, I have been, man. That's We've a good. Attention. Hold on, that's, I mean, a, good, that's met, a good debut right, right? there. Yes. Like, I, yeah, that was that's a serious I, project. So this this is I, my well, debut we, we debut. Met, we met at uh Oh damn, so they're only the good things. Video? We met at the Chris Webby featuring the North right. video shoot. Yeah. Right. And uh you oh, were like yeah. telling me and that was what, Mar- March? Oh, don't ask me I months know, because I don't so even know what we, day we, it is. Probably end of March, <laughs> early April. Yeah, something yeah, like in that. Between there. And like I, I started following you obviously. We yeah, definitely. we linked up and I was like, All right, cool and then I feel like you just started going. I was like, like oh, oh, he ain't stopping yeah, now. Yeah, no, you're always The next time we saw just... you, I was like, damn, sir. You everywhere. Moves. I'm trying you to be everywhere, man. Now, nah, listen, he, you definitely caught my attention. <clears throat> uh, the breed caught my attention. You got, I mean, all of you guys caught my attention. And I get vibes off of people really quickly. And and something that I really liked about you was you were, you have this, like, uh, you have this humbleness about right. you, but you're also a really um, hard worker and you put out good music, but you met me, we talked and you met us and we were like, yeah, you know, we we want to have you in the show. You're okay, okay, just let me know whenever. Like, you weren't like, yeah. man, people be people entitled, be entitled. So I'm glad you're here. I can't appreciate you guys enough. So, oh, shout out, um, shout out all your social media too. Definitely. So um, people know where it's to find at you. I am Butter, um, Twitter. Okay. Instagram. SoundCloud, Snapchat, everything. I am butter. Yeah, and um, guys, the three. E is gotta, a three. The E is a three. It's a three. So the yeah, E man. is a three. I take that. And, it's different. Um, it catches the eye too. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming through. You know. And um, I mean, you're gonna be chilling with us while we talk yes, to sir. the rest of the guys um, with the breed. But we're, but, you know, we're gonna take a quick break, and I'm actually gonna play some songs produced by the breed while we take our little break and Let's then go. we'll have them in so guys you are tuned in to shut up and listen this is mystery girl i'm here with my co-host dj enigma yeah. we were just speaking with butter yeah. and uh we're not done yet we got the whole breed crew in here, yeah, here. so stay tuned we'll be back you heard <laughs> Queen.